This is something all young goaltenders need to become good at if they ever want to play at a high level, and that is controlling rebounds with your stick. The reason that we need to be able to do this is because as you get older, when teams enter the zone, three on two, two on one, whatever the case may be, a lot of times they're gonna be shooting far pad just so you spit out a rebound into the slot area and they'll have players just waiting there to put it in. So if you cannot control a rebound with your stick, it's gonna make your job way more difficult and you're gonna to have to try and stop way more pucks rather than just controlling the first one. Some very, very, very important things. When I'm using my stick to control a rebound, I do not want to say the puck's the left pad, at our left pad here. I do not want to be jousting at it. I don't want to joust. I don't want to pull away, which I see some young goaltenders do. Stick, open up every hole in the universe, okay? We need to stay over top of the puck, even when we're using our stick. Now everyone's gonna do things just a little bit differently than each other. Every goaltender's different, every goaltender's unique, but those two things that I just talked about can happen. When a stick saves comes, I got a couple things that I gotta be aware of. So one, obviously, I wanna keep my knees together or I can move my pad into it. Okay, again, personal preference. One thing that's super important though is making sure that I'm over top of my knees and I'm seeing the puck, I'm tracking it. I'm watching, I'm pushing my nose at it. And now either I'm turning it, I'm turning it, staying over it, so I can now recover and go. That's super important because yes, it's good to make a save, but it's also good to be able to stay on it. You have to stay on it, again, if you wanna play at a high level. All right, so let's demo a few. So a couple, right? The one thing that I don't want to happen is I don't wanna get underneath it and drive it up into the glass. If we're hemmed in our own end for a long period of time and the puck's coming cross body and we wanna send it out of play, that's a different scenario. But when it's a short side stick save, if I go and ramp it and drive it into the glass, it's gonna come out the other side and cause absolute chaos. So we need to stay over top of the puck. So puck gets shot, right? I stay on it with my head. We're moving, okay? You can move your leg into it or you're just staying tight. So here, a couple more. Again, there, it was outside of my body. So I just touched it a little bit. If I would have drove into it, it would have went up. So same thing, right? I want to see this puck. Stay over top of it. Again, I can move my leg. Some guys like to do that, I prefer not, especially on short side. I'd rather we just stay tight and stay over it, like that. Okay, if it's a far side pad, it's a far pad shot, little more challenging now. But do you see how I turned it? It hit the goal line. Again, I still have to stay over this puck. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Okay, on a hard shot, it's going to drive up. So again, we're going to be staying over top, and I just turn it. Same thing, right? Boom, put it into the corner, right? Or you let it come up against your pad, and all it is is turning it. So if you can get, you can get a view here of my stick, really all I want to be doing is just like a lever. I just want to be turning it and staying over top of it, okay? Again, I'm not out here, I'm not poking at things, I'm just staying over top of the puck, just staying over top of the puck. Getting it to the corner. Now if we get a shot a little harder, all right, right into the corner every single time. You wanna to try to keep the puck out of this area as much as you possibly can, and this thing right here is gonna be one of your best friends. Get used to doing it from a young age. I know so many goaltenders from the age of eight to 11 that just make pad saves, spit, spit rebounds out through the middle of the ice. And sure, that's fine at the level you're playing at now, but if you ever wanna play at a high level, 
you have to control that because that'll be in the back of your net. I hope you guys found value in this video. Please take controlling rebounds with your sticks seriously. All goaltenders, especially if you want to play at a high level one day, this thing needs to be your best friend to control pucks around the crease and not spit out bad rebounds. Let us know if you like this video. Check out more in our rebound control series and we'll see you in the next one.